This video explains how to use the Sketch application to input point and line data directly into iConstruct field software. In this case, utilising some sketching functions to draw a 2D building plan. Start by selecting Sketch from the Applications container. This is the Sketching Functions button. There are six sketching functions to select from. This video will focus on points and lines, arcs, and point creation. After selecting points and lines, the points and lines tools populate the toolbox. After changing the sketching function to point creation, for example, the toolbox displays the point creation tools, so the selected sketching function defines the content of the toolbox. Back to points and lines and the point pilot is displayed. The point pilot acts as a guide for defining the angle value of the next point. Just tap on the relevant segment. It's a lot quicker than inputting the angles manually. New point feature can be used to define the starting point of the sketch. The info panel advises to enter coordinates, which is done by tapping on the text box, enabling the on-screen keyboard. This button in the top right navigates directly to the next text input field, which in this case is Northing. I'll enter 1 there and 0 for height. The point can actually be created without a height, but it's a good idea to enter a height value so that these points could then be used later, maybe in stakeout or volumes. In the map screen the point is displayed in blue. Blue indicates it's not stored yet, it's just a proposal. It's possible to edit the input data or press the green check mark to actually store the point. Once the point is stored, it is shown in grey and the point pilot is placed on top of it, ready for the next point to be created. Continue sketching by tapping in the point pilot to change the angle, defining the distance and height, then pressing the green accept key. That point has now been stored, the point pilot is displayed above it. Again, use the point pilot to change the next angle, input the distance, press accept and a further point is stored. It's a very simple process of choosing the angle, defining the distance and pressing accept. Now it's possible to use the point pilot alone to complete this sketch, but I'll show another sketching function instead. The point creation tool, Angle Angle Intersection, can be used to close off the current sketch. Select a new sketching function, which is point creation, and then select Angle Angle from the toolbox. Following the info panel guidance, select the first point, and the second point for the intersection. The intersecting point, based upon these configurable angle values, is shown in green. Choose whether or not to draw a line to that point, and then press the green accept key to store. Again, the point is stored in grey. That was the point creation tool, angle angle intersection, but there are a number of other tools displayed here, each as simple to use as angle angle intersection. There is also the tie distance tool, which can be used to quickly calculate distances and angles between points. Moving on now to the arcs function, select arcs from the sketching functions and follow the info panel guidance. Select point 4 and point 5. The arc position is already proposed on the sketch in blue. Change the number of segments in the arc to 3, which distributes points along the arc. Choose whether or not to display the line in the arc using the toggle button. Tap the green accept to store. Each toolbox contains a delete option. I'll use that now to delete the line below the arc. Now the basic sketch is complete. 
It could now be used in other applications contained within ICON, for staking out, for example, or making area and volume calculations. For information on adding offsets to this sketch or anchor bolt patterns, see further sketch videos.